Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're hauling uh, a little bit of, m not methane, ethane, <laughs> ethane, um, where are we hauling it from? Uh, ethane, from Oxnard to Redding, California. Uh, short little journey, wow, 780 kilometers or so, and uh, 17 grand. I've almost got the Kingpin lined up. Let's go ahead and get into the truck here and see if we can't get it lined up. Okay, put that um, parking brake on. Couple the trailer. Now technically, let's put it into gear and then see if the trailer brakes are on. Looks good. That's also how you stall your car or your truck. All right, let's take the flashers off. Oh my goodness. It's one of these buttons, honestly. Uh, J. I totally forgot which button it is now. I don't know why I can't. There it is, F. Why that's so difficult. I thought I had a button on my, uh. Huh. Anyways, let's get on the road here. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that. I totally thought I had like a button set up there. And normally I think I do. So, of course with uh, ATS and patch 1.4, you can choose what type of trailer you have. Uh, I chose the short trailer this time. Last couple times I've chosen the long trailer, but I thought I'd give the short trailer a try. Uh, just for more maneuverability sake than anything else. Because it's always nice to have that maneuverability, so. Anyways, it's not too it's not too long of a journey, 730 kilometers. I think most of it is highway, luckily, so. I do like cruising. Let's put some music on while I'm thinking about that. There. With whatever that music is. Interestingly enough, actually. Let's put it in the low. Farm Sim has exactly the same feature now, which I thought was kind of interesting. So now you can play music just like you can in ATS and ETS. They added the same feature, which is kind of neat. They also added like radio stations, so you can pick up uh, internet radio stations in it. Or if you want, you can pick up um, radio, internet radio stations, or you can put your own music, or you can add some other radio stations if you want to, like real radio stations. So it's kind of interesting. So if you want to listen to like radio, CBC Radio 1, you could do that theoretically. I think that's really neat, actually. Uh, one thing, of course, you're gonna run into, of course, if you if you record videos like I do, uh, one of the things you're gonna run into is, is of course, copyrights, if you try to do that, uh, which is the reason why I tend to play just YouTube music, which isn't terrible. There's worse music out there, that's for sure. Uh, the music I'd like to play doesn't always play, doesn't always work well with uh, playing the game. So, for example, I like to play, um, I like heavy metal. Uh, classic rock and uh, electronic music, which doesn't always play well when you're trying to. If you put that music in and you're trying to talk over it, it doesn't always work out really well. The blues music that I'm playing right now is considered blues, at least according to YouTube, isn't so bad. So, I don't know how this is supposed to be uh, 90 kilometers an hour. I, would, I couldn't imagine trying to do this at 90 kilometers an hour. Seriously, like, <laughs> 90 kilometers an hour around these bends, uh, you would surely make this flip over. Like, seriously, like, I have no doubt in my mind you'd be, you'd be able to uh, flip a trailer like this. Actually, so I have two horns. One's like the horn of the truck and one's the air horns, of course. And uh, I think they actually changed the horn sounds of a couple of the trailers, or a couple of the trailers, a couple of trucks in uh, ATS. So interesting little tidbit of information also what they did uh, SES for example what they what well, not for example they did it there's no example to it um, one thing they also added or going to add soon is the France DLC to ETS which is gonna be pretty slick um, definitely to have a look at that uh, I haven't played much ETS since I got ATS and that's just primarily because the way oh what kind of style I like to play 
so I tend to uh, gravitate towards uh, ATS in my case. So that's just me though. I'm gonna stick to the outside here. Now I've been uh, kind of asking a few questions uh, throughout the videos, or and a couple people have said uh, stuff like, um, I don't really need that up. I don't know why that's up. I was I've been asking about uh, like what's the brake situation. And uh, there's been some interesting insight, actually. Uh, one person's company in the comments mentioned that uh, they, the company encourages them to use their engine brake as much as possible uh, because it costs $2,000 to replace the brakes in a truck, which I thought was kind of interesting. That's something I never would have considered, actually, uh, mainly because I just don't have to replace brakes very often, or ever, really, uh, because I take the bus everywhere, which is, you know, the bus's responsibility, not mine. But it's something to, to consider, I guess. So I guess that's why they always encourage people to... Uh, uh, they always encourage people to use the engine brakes as much as possible, so... As opposed to the brakes. Now, I would be curious to see if you, they could incorporate that kind of thing, that kind of I idea into um, e uh, ATS, actually. So, for example, if you had, like, brake wear... Because if they do have tire wear already... So I'd be curious to see if they could add, uh... I don't know why I keep hitting those wrong, that wrong button. I feel like I, I switched it or something. Been playing too much farm sim, I guess. Anyways, I'd be cur curious if they added that kind of thing into the game, so like brake wear and stuff like that. So depending on how you drove your truck, it would actually impact like how much wear and tear there'd be on your truck. So if you just jammed in your brakes a little bit like, more often, it would be curious to see uh, like what the wear would be sort of idea. So like if they added that idea, maybe they do have it incorporated. I just it's just not obvious. So one second. I don't know, that might be a kind of a interesting addition. But maybe in the future, who knows? There may be a mod out ready for that. I have no idea. It's a nice car like that. What kind of car is that? I can't tell. Nope, we're not going to the mine. Not this time at least. Not this time. Whoa, buddy. What's up with that? You get it right in front of me and then you slow down? Come on. Jeez. I hate when the, I hate when the, uh, the AI does that. It's like, what? Really? Come on. Like, what Like, what was the point of that? And then he goes into the other lane. I don't understand. Anyhow. So, yeah, we'd be kind of curious to see if they actually incorporate something like that. Oh, it's giving me space good. coming up here by the windmills or wind turbines I should say sorry so yeah the person mentioned that uh, the company suggests uh, a combination of engine brakes and gearing down so because I guess the gearbox can take a little bit more wear and tear than the uh, than the brakes because the brakes will probably get sheer like probably get wasted pretty quickly if you were to break just use the brakes right as opposed to uh, using the brakes and the combination of like a retarder, for example, depending on what type of truck you're driving, or a uh, the engine brake, of course. So there are a few options, of course. So I don't know. I thought it was kind of interesting. That's like something I hadn't thought about, really. I don't drive a truck in real life, so uh, that's probably why it never crossed my mind. But it's curious to see how uh, there are some of those things that you need to consider. like nice and uh, ever since I took the I, I untoggled the uh, let's get here we go uh, ever since I untoggled the engine brake so like normally I would have it toggled just because I like the sound of it um, ever since I untoggled and just left it untoggled and then use it only when I need it 
floating gears is so much easier. And uh, like some of the general driving is a lot easier too. Just because, uh, just because the way you can drive with it, without it, I should say. It definitely adds some nice, some nice capability. Looks pretty good. Just a quick screenshot of that while we're chilling out. Well, not we're chilling. While we're cruising, I should say. Uh, what is it? X. There we go. This is a uh, Farmer Beavis style. Let's see if I can. Uh, can I? No. Don't want to fiddle with it too much. That's what our trailer looks like. A Texaco trailer. Short one this time. You can get a short one and a long one um, from the uh, from the latest patch, at least 1.4. Well, maybe there's a long one after another patch after that, but 1.4 is the patch I'm referring to, at least. Uh, that allows you to kind of customize which trail you want. So I went for the shorter one this time as opposed to the longer one because I just, I, every time I go for the long one and then I just thought I would change it up a little bit, go for the short one, although you can't really tell. I can from driving it, but uh, I don't know if you can tell from uh, <laughs> watching or not, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Depends how often you play farm, or farm sim, ATS. I've been playing a lot of farm sim lately, I guess. Jeez. I don't know why, but I've been um, <laughs> messing around on Oklahoma a lot. Well, it's been giving me trouble, so it's kind of like a, a mixed bag of emotions because I like playing on Oklahoma, but I don't like the problems I've been running into, so I'm, I'm almost inclined to just take all the equipment and go on a different map, but uh, obviously I haven't done that yet, so. But that's one of the thoughts that's crossed my mind so far. Haven't heard anything about the rescale as of yet for ATS. Most of the talk has been about the France DLC for uh, from SES at least. But uh, I'm still pretty pleased, either or. Um, they're both great games. Like whether you like driving in America or driving in Europe, um, really come. It's really up to you. So a lot of people, for example, have gotten on the ETS bandwagon because they like driving in Europe, and that's totally cool because they're from Europe. Uh, but if you're like me and you're from the United States or you're from Canada. Um, Having American Truck Sim is awesome because it definitely uh, changes up the way, like the the feeling of the drive, uh, in the sense that uh, it's not so like I, I drove this truck, this very almost the same truck in ETS, and it was uh, kind of bizarre because what will happen is I just took the almost the same truck and put it into ATS in the end, um, but the way the feeling of driving with this truck in this game just you know fits so much nicer uh, than other other trucks so. At least than it did in ETS. In ETS, I, uh, I've been rocking the Mercedes Actro, so that's the last truck uh, I kind of picked up and started playing with, at least with my with the Canadian paint job, uh, which I believe was a gift from Willem. I want to say it was. So thank you again. If it's not, I apologize, but thank you for getting that gift. I think it was who it was. Serious gamer. Yeah, pretty sure. Anyways, thank you again. Appreciate that. That's, one, that's my favorite paint job out of all the different paint jobs I've seen so far. Uh, apparently the, the pirate one is pretty good too, from what I saw. I know Farmer Beavis picked that one up uh, when they released it for uh, International Talk Like a Pirate Day, which I thought was pretty awesome, but they actually released a paint job for that day. Um, that was pretty neat. Because uh, I, don't, I don't think, <laughs> that's the only thing I ever, uh, I don't, it's the only thing I saw about that, and that was after the fact really. I think it was, uh, it was October, September, September 19th I think maybe it was. Uh, so it's kind of funny that they released a, that they released a, a mini deal, like a paint job, essentially, for the game. <laughs> Made me chuckle. But uh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll see a Halloween one. I know there's a Halloween DLC for Train Sim, for example. Let's get into the left lane here so that truck can get in. Um, yeah, I know they released. I know Train Sim released a DLC for uh, Halloween. I think it was a while ago now. I think it's like the Halloween Express or something crazy like that. I think that's what it is. Something along those lines at least. And uh, it's kind of a neat little DLC. I never picked it up because I don't think I, I don't have any of the trains. That's not true. I do have some train sim DLC, but I think it was like combined with some other things. So that's the reason why I don't have it. Don't have a lot of DLC. Although there are a few ones I'd like to get. Namely the uh, Mountain Pass uh, in British Columbia, the Canadian one, Canadian Mountain Pass. You get some CN Rail in there too. It was on sale, but only at 30%. So I'm definitely gonna buy it one of these days. And just I want to try it because like 
all the snares I've, I've looked at in the past have all been like in that area because I'm from Canada, so that's what interests me the most. They, most? <laughs> interests me the most. So that's the reason why I thought it was kind of, uh, I've always found it curious. And there's another, there are actually two DLCs. There's a, I think it's a Wide Nose CN Rail DLC that you can get, which is pretty interesting too, so. Uh, there's only like two DLCs, and although I did notice there was a Train Z DLC for that had uh, CN Rail stuff too, which I thought was kind of neat. Although I don't own Train Z, so I don't know. Like reading the reviews of that game, it's kind of like some people are like, "Yeah, it's amazing," but like most of the recent ones have been pretty negative, unfortunately. So, and I already have Train Sim, so I don't know. It's hard to I don't know, differentiate, I guess is the word I want to use, between like the two because I'm not like a super hardcore aficionado, uh, whereas some people are, and they would really be able to tell the difference. I don't think I would. I don't play nearly enough to buy another, uh, another game. Um, although I do get urges every now and then. I'm like, oh, I kind of feel like playing Train Sim. Uh, and it would be really neat if I had the console, but for the amount of uh, Train Sim I play, it would be totally not worth it. Because I play like Train Sim like, you know, once a month, maybe, something like that. Whereas, you know, Farm Sim I play like, every day. And like I said, I think I mentioned this before, but actually uh, FarmSim has added um, Track IR support now. So like Track IR might, might be a viable option in the near future because uh, it'll work for ATS, ETS, uh, Project Cars, uh, Flight Sim, and uh, FarmSim now, which is kind of neat. I don't know how good the integration is going to be, but it's there at least, right? So if you don't have uh, track IR like I don't, so you're just like, okay, cool, great, that sounds awesome, but it um, doesn't do anything for me, so. I'm gonna get a ticket, should I get? I shouldn't get a ticket, I'm only doing five over, or six over. But uh, yeah, it'll be kind of curious to see how that all plays out. So those people who do have track IR, uh, will be able to test it out, have a go at it, so. All right, as we're coming into the way station here. Break puts my gross weight 30 tons. Not bad. Should have put it in neutral first before, st before uh, putting the parking brake on. That always helps, right? Oh well. Won't be the first time, won't be the last. I can only imagine what it would be like. <laughs> Thinking about it, I'm like, oh, nope, definitely not the first time I've done that. Definitely not the last. All right, let's keep an eye on the mirror here. See if we can't get, uh, we can't merge. Oh, looks like we're clear to go. Nice. That never happens. People always want to get in your way. Although maybe, uh, maybe with that, um, with that uh, realistic tra AI traffic mod, maybe that's part of the reason why they move out of the way a bit more. I, mean, I, I kind of, I guess I, I noticed that a bit more once I got that mod. People are more willing to like, oh hey, there's a truck coming into the lane. Maybe I should move out of, out of its way. It's not always the case. I've had cars come into my lane, of course, just because I have no idea why they came into my lane, but it's happened once or twice where they decided it was a good idea to come into my lane. Don't know why, but, um, yeah, it's happened. Is the right-hand lane the ending? I guess not. It's going to the right-hand lane. The slow lane is what they would refer to it as. Actually, uh, if, you're, if you know who Dennis Leary is, uh, there's a, a line in one of the songs he sings. That always makes me chuckle. The, uh, one of the lines he says, I drive really fast, no, I drive really slow in the ultra fast lane. I believe is how the line goes. Kind of comical. So it's like me doing, it would be like me doing like 50 kilometers an hour in like the left hand lane there. So what, second guy without a job? Come on. Can't believe that. Step it up there, gents and ladies. Jeez, what song is this? Jeez, that's terrible. Cafe con leche. I think it's how you pronounce that. I need to find some more music for, uh, <laughs> for 
the YouTube. The nice thing about the YouTube free music, of course, is the fact that you don't need to, uh, like, because I'm just going through random songs and not just playing one specific song. If I were playing one specific song, it'd be a bit different, but I'm not. I'm playing, like, just a random assortment of songs. Uh, and because of that, the YouTube library is nice because... Move out of my way. This is a Toronto uh, merge right here. If you're from Toronto, you'll know what I mean. Or city, I don't know. I'm not sure what we call it a city merge, but usually that kind of stuff will happen. Um, when it's like you have to merge and people just like make a spot for themselves, which is noise what you want because they get awfully close to your car. And that's the reason why you move out of the way in the first place. But uh, that's how you get, get into accidents, but it's also how you. Uh, it's also how you uh, merge sometimes, or you, that's the only way you can merge. Let's move out of the way of this guy, if we can. Didn't, didn't, didn't hit him, luckily. Although I almost did. So it's like, the way, <laughs> the, way the game works sometimes, you, like, you just start moving slowly into the lane and eventually the AI is like, oh shoot. There's a, there's a semi truck coming in my lane. Maybe I should move out of its way. At least that's how I do it. How do you usually merge in this game? Do you normally uh, wait for an opening or do you make an opening? I guess is what I'm trying to say. I usually end up making an opening in a lot of cases. Not always, of course, but in a lot of cases, it's like, okay, let me just you know put my truck right there, and then they're like, oh wow, yeah, we're gonna have to move for that. So. Only 40 clicks left. Oh, I, I it's uh, quicker than I thought it was going to be, actually. Don't need the high beams yet, thankfully. Coming up here, it's going to be on the right-hand side. I think there's a way to change the GPS in this game so it shows you the distance to turn. And I don't know where on earth it is in this game. Oh, that was totally our turn. Well. Uh, what turn are we making next? I guess we're doing a big loop. Or is there anything else we could do? No, not really. Not safe. Ah, uh, you could, yeah, I guess we could just go straight. We'll do this and then come into the Texaco that way. Just gotta pay attention this time, that's all. <laughs> that's so bad, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I do like the, I like, when they, I remember when they first added that feature where you could just mark things on your map as to where you wanted to go. Let's get in the right hand lane this time. Uh, mark where you wanted to go on the map, and I think that's really neat because uh, it makes what I just did possible, which I think is really cool. If I had kept going, I probably would have eventually rerouted anyways, but uh, it just gives me the capability of kind of double checking. So let's start slowing down here. We need to slow down here actually. Doesn't actually say. No, it doesn't. It's still 89 kilometers an hour here, so. You just need to slow to get slow down enough to get into the uh, to the lane and then you're good to go basically. Nobody there. I should really make those merging like that's like one of those yield lanes. Uh, we're making a left turn. Let's get the left lane up here. Sneaky suspicion we're going to be slowing down awfully soon. Although this windy road doesn't do it. doesn't make it easy. There's 40, deg 40 degrees. 40 kilometers an hour. Or I guess that's miles, really. Oh, that's where I'm going right there. I thought we were staying the right stay in that lane there, but I guess not. Gotta love a left turn lane signal. Now I do have air brake simulation on, which has been pretty easy to deal with actually uh, in this context because I I don't know what, I sometimes I'll pump the brakes without realizing it 
and I'll just make the the chirping sound. So I have to watch out for that because if I do that, I'm using up the air pressure, which I, I shouldn't do. All right, we're clear to go there. Uh, yeah, so I shouldn't do that just because it does use up some of the air pressure. I don't know what else you use air pressure for. Uh, let me think here. I think there's a couple other things you use air pressure for in a truck. Maybe for I know you like, you might be able to raise and lower with the air pressure as well. All right. Here we go. Get over that. Oops. Don't stop. That was a little bit too abrupt. I just wanted to slow down, I didn't want to stop. Alright. I don't think it, it's been a while since I've been to this place. Oh, that's a super. <laughs> that really is a safe parking job. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Listen, you just drive straight in, which I guess kind of makes sense. It seems like an odd place to park, actually, now that I think about it. Like in the middle of nowhere, but I guess they have. Uh, is there anything you would connect to it? I don't think so, so. Hmm. Really? Why is that not in there? That's strange. Alright, parking brake. Took out of gear. It's in neutral. Decouple. Let's see what our results are. Should be pretty good. Excellent! Très bien! Nice! Hazardous hazard class 2. Nice. 689 XP from that. Pretty good little journey, actually. Sweet! All right, folks, that'll be it for me for date. Another episode of American Truck Simulator. I do love this game. Every time I come back to it and record an episode, I don't. I try not to play it too much um, because you just get sucked into it sometimes. Um, and it's not my main game on my channel, but I do like playing it, so I kind of incorporate it in a little bit. Anyways, moving on. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed the American Truck Simulator. If you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.